Allow me to pique your interest this way. There is something in common between a boiling bowl of noodles and Jesus' resurrection. <laughs> you interested yet? Uh, when you're, you're boiling a, a, a bowl of noodles in, in water and you're, you're waiting for the noodles to get done, you might get close to the time when those noodles are, are done. You, you think they're done. And, and so you kind of scoop one out, right? You, you scoop one little noodle out and you wait for it to cool just a little bit so that you can try it. And, and if it's too chewy, uh, then you put it back in because the noodles need more time. Uh, but if it's just right, because you, you tasted that one noodle and because that one noodle tasted good, you can trust that the rest of those noodles are also finished. That's the connection between a bowl of noodles, a boiling bowl of noodles, and the resurrection, because that's the concept of first fruits. If you were a farmer, you would go and, and you would look at your crop, but instead of harvesting the, the entire thing at once, you would harvest the first fruits, the first a little batch there, and you would see that the fruit that was taken from those crops, that the product that came from those, were good. And if the product was good, then you could trust that the rest of the field that you would have to harvest would also be good. If the first fruits were bad, that would be an indicator of the rest of the field too. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the great resurrection chapter of Paul's letters, in verse 20 he says this, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. That Christ is the first fruits. That his resurrection means something for everyone else. And here's what it means. Because he is the first fruit, because Christ was raised, we can trust that we too will be raised. And that's the point that Paul brings out in 1 Corinthians 15. He says, because Jesus was raised, we can trust that we too will be raised one day. That, that, that death will not be the end for us, just like it wasn't the end for Jesus. Because Jesus was resurrected from the dead and given new life and exalted and, and, and able to sit at the right hand of the Father, so also we will be raised from the dead. We will be welcomed into heaven to be with Jesus and the Father forever. This resurrection is, is of great comfort to us. It is a hope that, that goes far beyond this life. Uh, we, we may live 70 or 80 years here in this life, but because of the resurrection, we know that we will live forever, in eternity, in heaven. And we know that all because Jesus rose from the dead. He was the first fruits. And that's why Easter is so important. Because we see Jesus rise from the dead, we know that this has great meaning for our lives, both here on earth, but also into eternity as well. And so as, as you go into Easter Sunday, and if you hear the word first fruits, now you know what it means. You might think of a boiling bowl of, of noodles, but I hope you think about your Savior who, who rose from the dead so that you too one day will rise.